Hey folks, Shadeslay here. Now, it's a new day on the London Gamers Minecraft server, and it's our final day in the village. A couple of episodes ago, we finally managed to uh, build ourselves a quarry, and last time, we went and had a little bit of an explore, and took a look at some of the, uh, the cool stuff that some of the other people on the server have been building. And uh, it's quite clear from that that they are a long way ahead of us, so we need to catch up. Um, and to do that, I think it's time that we have outgrown this little village. So it's time to set off for pastures new and go and find ourselves somewhere to set up a brand new base of operations. Now it's going to be a bit sad leaving because we've got to say goodbye to all of our, our cow friends. Don't they look great in, this, uh, in the John Smith texture pack? Look at those wide eyes. Hopefully, uh, I think we might have to leave a sign, so hopefully someone will, uh, will feed them while we're gone. Please feed the cows. There we go. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to set off and get underway. So what I've managed to do is I've had a look around the village and uh, managed to get my hands on a couple of these wooden storage crates that were lying around. Now in theory, if we pop stuff into these crates and then break them, they'll remember all of the contents that were inside them. And it looks like it works, because this one's got some treated sticks and some steel ingots in it already. Well, there we go. Now, I'm not going to take too much with me for now, because we can always come back and pick things up later. But what we will do is we'll take lots of building materials, because that's the first stuff that we're going to need when we arrive at our new home. So let's fill this, uh, this crate up with uh, lots of cobblestone and some dirt and various materials that we might need for building when we get to our new location. Now I'm not going to take things like the quarry with me yet, I can always come back and get that later, but there's always a risk that we might come up against some kind of nasties on the way, and well, we don't want to be carrying our most prized possession when that happens. There we go, so we've got some basalt cobblestone, some marble, that'll be really good for creating something a little bit later on, and lots of cobblestone in our storage crate. I wonder if there's anything in this one already. No, that one's empty, okay. Um, we've got ourselves some basic tools as well, so everything we need there. We've got a crafting table, a bed, plenty of food and some torches. So if we just smash up this crate, there we go, it should have all of that cobblestone in it. Right, well, goodbye, goodbye home. We're off to establish a base. And uh, like I say, we can always come back and get all of the other bits and pieces a little bit later on. So first, let's decide which way to go. Well, I think the others have all kind of gone in that direction. So I reckon I'm going to head out this way um, and go through the woodland uh, on the other side of the village and see what's over in this direction. So let's set out. Now, we're going to be looking for somewhere with quite a bit of flat land for building on. Um, hopefully some kind of trees and resources nearby because we don't have much wood. We've got plenty of cobble but we definitely don't have much wood at the moment. So that's going to be important, some trees and hopefully a source of fresh water as well because when we start to build our quarry it's really handy if we can build it next to like a lake or a river or something like that. So it's going to slowly fill up with water as it mines out. And the reason that's important Crikey, what's this? It's a creeper. Get away from me. Look at that thing. A troll hat. Crumbs. Well, luckily it didn't get near us. Right, let's carry on going. That thing was scary. Scary as heck. Okay. Um, where are we going? Well, there's a bit of river down here. Let's just keep going around this. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get through through here. Uh, maybe we will. Let's just jump up the other side. Lots of jumping. Oh, there's all kinds of things inside there. We want to avoid that if we can. Okay, are we actually getting up anywhere? Looks like we are. Okay. Hmm. Well, this area looks cool, but it's a little bit too hilly for us at the moment. We don't want to be trying to uh, terraform this whole... Uh, this whole landscape just to build something so let's keep on going and it would be useful if we were outside of the uh, the jungle with all these big trees as well phew I was a bit worried for a moment that that was quicksand and we definitely don't want to fall into that or we'll slowly suffocate 
Well, this area is interesting. There seem to be these kind of natural springs popping up out of the water. Hmm. But still, not quite what we're looking for. So let's let's keep heading off in uh, in this direction. Oh, there's some uh, lots of exposed rock around here. Seem to be lots of uh, lots of nice resources that we could come back and gather. And what's that on the hill? That looks like a Thorncraft obelisk. It seems to be surrounded by some really nasty dudes as well. Hmm, I don't think they're friendly. They don't look friendly at all. They've got big weapons. And they've got this red armour. I think we'll give them a wide berth. Oh, I wonder if someone's been here already. There's some, uh, some cobblestone just floating up there in the sky. Who knows? Well, let's keep going for now. And we're going to have to eat some food because our hunger bar is quite low. There we go. And that means we can carry on sprinting. So let's uh, keep going in this direction. This area is looking a little bit more promising. It seems to be a bit flatter and there are some trees around. Let's go a little bit further and see what we've got down here. There's a small water source, but that's not really what we're looking for. Let's, let's jump up on top of here and see what we can see. Oh, there's some coal. Well, I wasn't planning on stopping, but let's just stop and grab some of this coal while we're here, because it's nice and easy to access. And there seems to be a whole lot of it as well, and coal is always useful. There we go, grab up some nice coal. I'm sure we can put that to good use a little bit later on. Oh, there's loads of it. There's more of it down here as well. That'll be handy if we need to make more torches or anything like that. God, it seems to never end. Look at that. Loads and loads of coal. And it's still going as well. Crikey, there we go. Well, we've picked up plenty of coal, so that will be pretty handy to us when we get to whatever location we decide to stop at. Now, what's that? There seems to be this black earth over the other side of this big lake. And, uh, wow, this is definitely a, a big old water source as well. Let's have a look. It looks like a kind of plains biome over there. So let's just cross the uh, the river. Let's have a look and see what we can find. Let's run alongside the river here. Oh, we've got some cows nearby. Well, that's going to be handy. Okay, let's just pop up here. Oh, a little bit of a dark hole. Well, we don't want to go down there quite yet. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a volcano. Volcano, is it? It looks like a volcano. So this is going to be basalt. Lots and lots of basalt. And we've got horses, some white horses. Hello, boy. Not impressed. Okay. Also, we've got loads of basalt. Well, that can make some nice black bricks, um, which we could use for crafting something like our factory. Let's keep on going. Oh, there's a big hole down there. Crumbs. Now, I wonder if this is a safe place to build a base or not. What if this volcano decides to erupt? Well, hopefully it won't. But what if it does? Let's go up to the top. This looks like a really good area, though. There's loads and loads of flat land. We've got water nearby. We've got a couple of rivers, a couple of lakes. There's a slightly ominous-looking totem over there, but hopefully that won't cause us too much trouble. Let's keep going up to the top. Oh, there is this lava coming out the top of this uh, this volcano as well. Well, thankfully, it doesn't seem to be running down the sides. There's a whole load of trees around. Wow, well, this looks like a really good location to set up our, uh, our base of operations. There's all kinds of stuff around here that we can use. Crikey, there's a tree down there that looks a bit ominous. It's covered in spider webs. We'll have to be a bit careful if we go down there. Right, well this looks perfect. And we can set up our bed tonight on top of the volcano because, well, that's perfectly safe, isn't it? I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. There we go, just... Well, we don't want to catch fire. There's nothing worse than being in bed and catching fire. Let's pop it here. And look at that view. Look at that view as the sun goes down on the horizon. What else have we got around here? Oh, the moon's just coming up over there. 
yeah, I think this is a brilliant location. Let's let's hop into bed. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. It's a new day, the sun is beginning to come up. Yeah, this location looks absolutely perfect. So we can set down our wooden storage crate. Oh, hopefully it's the other one. Set down our other wooden storage crate. I hope that's not too close to the lava. Hmm. We'll just get rid of it. I don't want it to catch fire. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. We've got all of the, uh, the cobblestone and the basic kind of building materials that we brought with us. So that's great news. And it means that at some point I can go back and collect all of the other stuff in our base and uh, transport it over here. Now, I'm sure some of you are watching this going, Shades, that's that's total tomfoolery. Why are you building on top of a volcano? Well, because I like to live life on the edge. That is why. That is what it is all about. Either that, or I'm just a fool. And that is quite possible as well. It's fine. There's absolutely no risk. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. But what we can do is we can use all of this space down here to set ourselves up somewhere to live and to set up our factory as well. That's looking pretty good. And we've got animals, we've got pigs, and there's sheep here, there's horses. And I saw some cows uh, not that far away too. So we've got all of the basics that we need to get set up. The only thing I do want to do is go and check out this, uh, this mysterious tree over here because uh, well, it's covered in spider webs and that's never a good sign. It's pretty dark under here too, so let's, let's pop down some torches just to light the area up. Now sometimes you can find chests underneath these uh, these dingy trees. I can see lots of creepers nearby at the moment. Hopefully they're uh, they're underground. Oh, what's this? It's a cave spider monster spawner. Well, we're going to have to get rid of that. There we go. We don't want any any nasty spiders spawning around us. Did we just pick that up? We did a broken spawner. Well, I wonder if we can use that at some point later to make a, a mob a mob grinder. Or if we can fix it up somehow, we might be able to go and stick it inside someone's base. That'll confuse them. We could go and stick it in, uh, in maybe in Cav's base. He won't know what's happened. Oh, I've said it on the video now, he'll know. If he watches this, he'll know what's going on. Ah, foiled. So there's a chest down here as well. Let's take a look and see what's in this chest got a music disc, some tin ingots, a steel helmet, copper ingots, ender lily seeds. Well, these are really valuable. We might be able to trade some of these with the others because ender lily seeds let you grow ender pearls. Now, they take absolutely forever, but wow, they're going to be really valuable to us. Um, and there's a floppy disc. Who knows what's on that? And a bag of common treasure from Thorncraft as well. Well, there we go. That was a nice little haul that we found under under that tree. I don't think there's anything else down here, but we'll just dig out around it. Yeah, looks like we're safe. Great. Well, that was a nice little find. And uh, and yeah, we got ourselves that broken spawner as well. Let's just head back up to the top of the, uh, the relative safety of the top of this volcano. I haven't seen any other lava, so we might be alright. And hopefully I can mine some of this and turn it into basalt bricks as well, which will be nice. Now let's just take a quick look and see what we can do with this broken spawner. If we hover over it and hit U... Hmm... Soul Binder. So if we can get something called a Soul Binder, and then a Soul Vial, put it into a broken spawner, and we get another broken spawner? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Recipes. Hmm, I'm going to have to take a look into this a little bit further and work out what we can do with it. I'm sure there's something. It does look like we can somehow use it in a soul binder, but I'm not really sure what that is or what it does. Combine with a powered spawner in an anvil to set spawn type. Hmm, who knows? Well, that looks uh, like something we can explore a little bit later on. Now, I didn't bring any chests with me. That was foolish. So we'll just pop down this spare storage crate 
a nice distance away from the lava and we can put all of this cool stuff that we found into it just to keep it safe while we go back and collect the rest of our stuff. Got all of that coal, some gunpowder, a random floppy disk, some tin ingots, and then I think it's time to pop up a little sign as well and claim this land as our own. So let's do that. New home. There we go. Now, I'm not sure we're going to build our house right on top of this volcano, but certainly that marks the land out as ours. So if anyone comes along and thinks, oh, what's all this? Well, they'll know that it is our new home. Good. Well, I think we've found a perfect location and we're all ready to, uh, to get things set up. Probably in the next episode, one of the first things we'll want to do is look at somewhere to set up our quarry. And they look like there are plenty of great spots um, all around here. So we've got these big bodies of water, um, maybe over in that direction somewhere, maybe over there, but certainly lots of places that we can set up a quarry. And in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll go and start lugging all of our equipment, all of our metal, all of our mining equipment, all of that good stuff back over here, and then we can start getting set up properly. Okay, well that sounds like a good place to end the episode. So until next time, I've been Shadesley. Bye for now.